Hey, I just want to record some background information before I show you an interview that I did with Patrick Tuttle and Gary Afrom with the Ranking Factory. And I had a few people ask me, well, Google Sites are dead. They're, I think what they're referring to is Google Business Pages are dead. Google Sites are not dead. They still rank. They, they uh, provide great backlinking power because of their high domain authority. So I'm going to get into the, the interview in a second, but I just wanted to kind of give you a preface of, let me just show you a few that uh, I know of that we're ranking on Google Sites. So I'm going to hop over here to an anonymous screen, and this is the way you should check for rankings. And the reason is, is it's not influenced by your location, your cookies, or your browsing history. So I typed in... This is one uh, Patrick gave me. He said, type in Sweet Vegan Cookie Company. This is one of their um, customers that they did SEO work for. And this is this one's actually in Mesquite. But look at this, Google Sites right here, rank number two. And it's above DoorDash, it's above everything else. And they said they did this about over a year ago with Google Sites. And this one is, I thought was interesting. Austin SEO Consultant. It beats all the other SEOs <laughs> with the Google site. So all the guys that are looking for an SEO consultant in Austin, they're all going to be down here. And even SimRush is below it. Uh, OMG Austin. This is a big SEO company here. So uh, don't let anybody tell you you can't rank a Google site. They rank just like every other website. Consider them just like every other website. Let's look at this. How to rank content using Google Sites. Well, the number one <laughs> is Google Sites. I find it funny that people tell me Google Sites don't rank. Well, they do. But Google doesn't give them preferential treatment, per se. But what does is you got to have good quality content, thoroughly researched backlinks built to it. You've got to do your basic SEO that you do with everything else. Uh, here's another one. How to use G sites to rank for keywords. Number one. Okay. So let me pop over. This is something from Link Whisper. The title of the article was, do Google sites rank better? It was posted almost, in fact, a year ago. So they talk about what is a Google website. Well, there's three things. Um, Google has Google domains where you can buy domains. They're a registrar. Uh, websites built with the Google Site Builder. That's what we'll talk about today in this interview. And sites that Google owns. Google owns Google Search Console. Google owns Google Analytics, Google Calendar. <laughs> so all those are tools that you can use within the Google framework. But the beauty about it is you can put them on your Google Sites. They integrate just perfectly inside of Google Sites. And here's something that Link Whisper. You think Google would favor websites that they're connected to, but it doesn't. They're just normal websites. Here's the things that you've got to focus on. Answer user queries. That's why we do people also ask. That's why we do topical authority questions. Uh, that's why we put facts on everything. Uh, so we want to have good quality content that answers the user's question, usually in the top third or above the fold, as they call it. Uh, you want to create thorough, topically relevant content that kind of all links back together. They're all based around the main keywords. That's why you want to have multiple pages on a Google site, whether it's a Google site, WordPress, or you're using Groove Blogs or any of those other CMS sites you want to have a set of articles that are based around your topics and interlink them together. Um, you want to make sure the navigation is very easy to use. You want to make sure it's mobile friendly and you want to make it visually appealing to the person looking at the page. You don't want it just a bunch of text because people are probably not going to read it. Break it up with images, break it up with lists, tables, charts, uh, infographics. Put images on the side, put them uh, in between, uh, get some good spacing in there. Um, 
the beauty about Google Sites, it is very simplified, very easy to use. That's why I keep recommending it. Uh, but it also has a high domain authority. And they usually do a DA of 98 uh, if you're doing a Moz score. So just kind of following through, use your Google Sites for building backlinks. This is probably the number one thing that people use Google Sites for is they build backlinks. They are great because of the high domain authority. They're very easy to put backlinks on and you can use other Google properties inside of your Google Sites that carry the same Google power and link juice. Um, so final thoughts, do Google Sites rank better? Um, I would have to say it all depends on, you know, do you have good content? Do you have backlinks to it? Have you, have you actually indexed it? The, you know, you gotta put it on Google Search Console. You gotta treat it like a regular website. The advantage of Google Sites one is they already start out with high domain authority, but they're very simple to use, very easy for them to be viewed on a phone, a tablet, or a uh, full PC. So keep that in mind. Um, there's, you know, just do your own research. If you're not sure, I know that I rank Google Sites, but I also use them as my tier one backlink. So with that said, I'm going to turn it over to Patrick and Gary. I think we had a very interesting conversation going on and I want you to hear it too. Bye-bye. Patrick, you there? All right. So we cut that out. So in our, in our test of trying to waylay the discussion that G sites you know, have very little value or don't rank or can't get indexed or all that. Same as any other website, Damon, you know, put them in, you know, GSA, you put them in indexers, they get indexed, they get crawled by Google, regardless of whether you put them in indexed at all. So Google knows and sees everything that is Google. Obviously, this is a Google property, right? And so we did a test to, you know, create some sites for one of our customers in the dental business. And so you can see here, this this is going back when we first did this, you know, uh, last year, almost a year ago. And so when we did it, we did about a thousand, uh, close to a thousand G sites that we built, okay? Oh. The various keywords, but mostly in our customer for uh, the dentist industry. So you can see here, based on the date, that it this is the rank that was pulled. This is the site, and I'm going to open this up. I should be able to open it up. Uh, you can see the word site, so you know that it's a G site. I'm not going to open it up and show you the full site, right? right. Sure. So as we keep coming down, you can continue to see that it just keeps running and running and running for all these sites that we built on a national basis for you know our g site for this particular client over here and we also have a couple other ones um so you can see here we did one for accident uh, a test for accident attorney right here accident right. lawyer uh that ranked uh right away number one here's another accident one Here's one damage. water damage right there. So we mixed up a couple things as we were going down. And so of, I think it was like, what, Gary, a thousand that we did. Right at a thousand when we did this. Okay. We had all of these that, that were ranking number one. And I'm not going to go back and pull them. And some of them still are. Some of them, you know, may have dropped off because we did this as a test to show and prove we could. Here's another accident lawyer right there. And so of this, how many did we do? A thousand? A thousand or so. Okay. So of the thousand that we did, 500, I think, and some were ranked right here. You see right here, 477 of them were ranked number one. Mm -hmm. Right here. Yep. All right. And this second batch we pulled was ranked number two. Here's criminal lawyer was ranked number two in his area. Uh, another water damage, 
criminal lawyer. So you go all the way down to the thousand that we did. We had, I'll just go to the bottom. I don't need to keep going through here. Criminal lawyer, water damage and so forth. Oh, what's this one? There was a power, what's powerful something. I don't know what that is. Backlinks. Oh, powerful backlinks. Okay, so that was ranked. And so we got 700 and some odd that we got when we pulled this in HREFs that were ranked one, two, or three. Wow. Okay. Okay. So if anybody seriously doesn't think that, you know, and it doesn't work, then they really should go spend their money elsewhere. It's not easy. It takes time. You have to do it correctly. But, you know, when you take any Google site, any Google site and put it into a rank checker, you will find that it's got a DA of 98 and a PA of about 40, 48, 58, somewhere that that range. It gets crawled. Whether you do anything at all, it still gets crawled every five to 15 minutes by Google. Yep. But when you put it in GSA and when you do the indexing and you get it done that way, which is just a normal website, uh, we're finding that that does help in getting it ranked. But is it crawled? Is it indexed? Yes. We have to still do other things to rank it. And we did other things to rank this other than just build the sites, right? We built backlinks. Right. We did the normal stuff. And then we uh, we also, to be quite honest with it, at the time we did a couple money robot blasts to our back to our to our Google backlinks. We use Google backlinks to rank a Google Google site. We don't use regular backlinks, right? Right. Right. So, but you can use regular backlinks because Google can take the take the power and take the authority. But you know, this is this is really what we share with people. Um, we didn't make this shit up, right? right. So, it, either believe it or do it the hard way. Well, that's. Uh, I mean, I, I appreciate you sharing this with me. Um, um, the and it looks like I mean you pulled this straight from HREF, so I'm, I'll do the same with some other stuff, putting it all together. But you know, it, 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 this is a recording. Hopefully, guys, you're watching the recording. You got to this point. We, Gary and Patrick, use the tools they make. That's the that's the important part. We're not selling shit just to sell shit. We're we're selling thing tools that we use and. You know, Let me show is, you something else, Damon. Let yeah. me show you something else, okay? To your point, all right, um, here's G-Site Factory 2. There's 203 people in here talking every day, right? If we go to Backlink Factory, let's see, where's Backlink Factory? 593 people in this Skype room talking every day. Yep. You know, some people talk... You know, hey, uh, I did this wrong or that wrong, or people are showing results and, you know, giving us uh, their testimonies about, you know, yeah, this is working or how do I, you know, tweak it. So the content of the, con like within your your group, you know, this is very shit. Look, watch. We open it up and, and this is just, this is just yesterday, Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Friday, Wednesday, but, you know, July. Look, at this is all the stuff that we're talking about every day in here. And people have questions. They're giving us what they've done well, what doesn't work. So, you know, I'm sorry if you don't believe it, but just go do it the hard way. Now, this is this is great. This is this is what, you know, I think this helps some people. So, you know, the, the problem is, is Google Sites back a long time ago. When oh, we're crappy as bullshit. Yeah, version one. This whatever version they call this right now, it's a beautiful thing to work with, uh, and especially it's so simple to use. You know, but you, you know just what? Got to get content in it. <laughs> version one was a lot sim easier to use. Yeah, you know why? It was dumbed down. No, it had an API. Well, that's that's true. They don't have an API now, and. I Correct. mean, your Google Site Factory, I just compliment you again, compliment Chris and Gary on everything y'all have done to put it all together is, um, 
if somebody wants to scale, automation is the way to go. And the only automation that I know of right now for Google Sites is Google Sites Factory. So yeah, I'm excited about it. And yeah, I use it. And um, I've got a VA that's probably going to be using it a lot more than I do. But um, it's there. You know, if you don't want to if you don't want to do it, like Gary said, it's do figure it out your the manual way. We've shown you the manual way, and I know uh, Patrick does too. Uh, we you know using the embed codes, but you know after time you're going to quit after about ten uploads. Whereas Google Site Factory just it's a machine. Turn it on at night, let it run all day. <laughs> Gary, all how, and how many of these did you make by hand before we even got to the point where we had you know starting to code it? The first. Yeah the first eight or nine hundred so that's a that's a like you know of testing damon of you know what works what doesn't work and yep. you know and we're continuing to do you know testing today i mean one of the things that we're teaching people today uh with the class that gary taught uh, last week was comment stacking in google sites yeah <laughs> i mean yep. i guarantee ain't nobody in the world out there doing that but us well, and that shows so. engagement. I mean, Google Google wants engagement, and I mean, this is this is incredible. Um, Gary, just off the top of your head, I know Chris came out with some uh, updates. I I saw it was a long list. I mean, this is on Google Site Factory version two. Um, can you just kind of give me the highlights of what happened last night on this big version update? Well, the main thing that he caught my eye with. Uh, I could go in and read it, but the number one issue was uh, to actually take an existing G site and add fresh new content into an existing site as long as you have the URL. And if you have sites.google in the edit, you can get your URL. Wow. So let me let me take a second and go back and read. Okay. The, the actual update. Well, he's looking for that. Let me also say that, you know, the standalone version of G Sites itself, you can use any AI, any API that you want, but we do have our own AI that we built into it right. for content for anything that you want to write about. And it's a it's a very, very precise, you can do tone, you can do all the other stuff. Um, you use your chat GPT for, I think we put in there, O oh, oh, or whatever as well, but we've created all the prompts to create the content, no matter what it is that you want to get your content on. Plus it goes out and it gets the, we, we programmed it to get the top 100 keywords for whatever subject you're talking about. Right. And and then we bring those into a regular G site. I'm not talking about what we have with Masher, right? Because it, it, the two things are a little bit different, but you can then take those keywords and anchor text the keywords into the text that's being created with the AI, our AI, right? right. So, great. yeah. Hey, uh, Patrick, do me a favor. Uh, can you X that box that's it's on the, it says, let everyone know they're being recorded? Want me to stop recording? No, no, no. There's a warning box. Yeah. Oh, that one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, at least we warned them they're being recorded. <laughs> hey, guys. Yeah. I'm going to tell you this. After I read this list, if you're not excited, you, you don't just pop the to... list up. Just pop it up. Yeah, share sure. It. If you could share the list with us. read it. I could share it. Oh my. Yeah, share. <clears throat> These are just the updates, and and you know, like your your coder Wayne, uh -huh. right? And who you know that. How often do they have to go and do something to your program? <laughs> it breaks like every other day. There's always work to be done. Well, and, and there's there's difference. Is fixes, oh, guys. beta fixes and stuff we do naturally, but feature upgrades is what what Chris has came out and what I just briefly saw on the list. You got to share your screen. Oh, um, I I just pasted it in. Hold on. This is groundbreaking <laughs> <clears throat> because we're doing the same thing with you can cut that part out if you want, but it's important to know that other people think the same way you do. Right. OK, 
And if you know Matt from Network Empire from 12 years ago and what he's doing now with Digital Marketers Toolbox, he's creating the complete platform and a one-click upload XML file into G sites. And then we're building the XML file, just like you're doing, you know, from that format and building the complete website out for them. And they're just going Google over it. That's, that was pretty cool. They're going Google over it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so. You know, okay. The, uh, just kind of following down is your headers can now be set as title text. Uh, and this is, it, it, it's a minor deal, but I had to do it on every single post manually. And it, it, Chris has done things that you don't have to visit that post if you don't want to. You just leave it as it is. If you uh, hit the expand button on the right hand side, Damon, and hit 2x, then you can, it's readable. I just expanded it on us on the window here for us. Oh, this is great. Headers can now be set as a title text. Um, style text. So <clears throat> I think to end this conversation, the bottom line is the more people use it in our Skype room, as you saw, the more ideas that people give us, as you've experienced over the last two months of trying to build this for Masher, right? Mm -hmm. The fact that we we have somebody dedicated to making fixes and listening to listening to what the customers have to say about what they want and then building it into a system that has no API and has to all be 100 percent manually coded. Yep. No, this is this is great. It, it, it's it's to me, it's it, this is an organic living uh, software. It's it's not a you know, buy it once and they, they run away. So, I mean, if you're watching yeah. this video is, guys, I've been working with Patrick for five years now on exchanging back and forth ideas and software and, and everything else. This is the one I really got excited about. Um, <laughs> I know we are using G sites as tier one PBMs. We've been, we've been doing this for a long time. I don't want to show you my PBM network because I've had some people report me. <laughs> mm. We use this for our masher net and we, we use it for a lot of other things, but we had to do everything manually. So I'm very excited about having an automation route uh, that we can do this. And uh, kind of the workflow that I, that I showed you on the bonus, that's the exact workflow. Follow it step by step to get all your Zim riders through AI masher into here. Um, they do have, uh, I haven't even, I told you on the uh, Geek Out Friday, I've only used 10% of what Google Site Factory does. So I know it does a whole bunch of other things, especially with your AI tools. I just don't know how to do it. I haven't spent the time. Uh, so, you know, <coughs> get the software. My recommendation is use it. Uh, well, you know what, Damon? I'm going to interrupt you real quick because uh -huh. what you just said is extremely important. So let's do this. For everybody that does pick this up, we will have a, you, me, Gary, and whoever does pick this up, we'll have a private step-by-step -step walkthrough of every single thing on G Site Factory on its own, not necessarily connected to what you're doing so that they can see everything and all the features of what it is so that, you know, you can build this for any customer, any local client, any national client, you know, not, so we're, we're outside the box of what the right. possibilities are. Right. So I, I don't think Gary would have a problem if we just set aside a special training yeah. um, when when the launch is over for you. And then we just sit down and, you know, knuckle down and get our knuckles dirty and start build. We'll just build a site from scratch, show how each of the pieces work together independently of what we're doing with with what you're doing so they can see the the global opportunity you know, and how we use it every day for all of our clients, no matter what, and, and products that we're selling. Right. But I, I think we should, I, I would love we should to do see that. It. Uh, you know, I, I'd be a student uh, watching <laughs> watching this learning. <laughs> it, the ability to, to jump Google accounts, guys, if you're watching this and you've never done that, doing a single Google account on one computer is easy. Maybe even doing two Google accounts different Google accounts on one computer is easy. 
doing multiple Google accounts that you have multiple authorizations, multiple phone verifications, everything else on one computer is almost impossible. But I know that y'all do that because I'm already using multiple Google accounts. So right. that's that's the trick to building a PBN. You got to have multiple Google accounts and multiple sites on each Google account. So very exciting. Yes, I would I would love a, a complete walkthrough. Did did you did you know that in in the software itself that we have a upgrade module for building PBNs? No, I didn't. That's how little I know about the software. <laughs> so you can you can literally build within the G site. Uh, Gary, you can explain it a little bit better. Well, because he he built them. It was, it like was crazy. actually designed after the, the PBN that I built. That we just saw the images for the rankings was actually from the PBN that we first built. Now it was built by hand. It took like eight months to build it. And it was it took a lot of time and a lot of effort. But basically what we've done with the software was copy the steps that we took to get those rankings and the features and the factors that we factored in were built into the software to duplicate that effort and automate it. That's that's amazing. Now we can we can, you know, touch on that and then as a second bonus, we can go in and do a complete build out using the PVN feature of the G sites. Well, and, and one of the things too is there's there's in fact if you you know Daryl Osborne. Absolutely. Yes. Um, my bet one of my good buddies. Daryl Daryl has AI Master and he has RSS Master and he's he's the one that gave us the idea or we we basically built the local pages to go into G sites, and he he is so excited about this process of automating the entire thing and including the local pages in there. But maybe we even have a a call with him down the road that uh, shows how he is using by using the local pages with RSS feeds into it rotating. Is you can build some authority embed frames uh, with, mm -hmm. with RSS feeds and so many options to do with Google Sites. Um, you know, for for the guys that those wannabes out there that say, you know, Google Sites is dead, I don't think they know what they're talking about. <laughs> you know why? Because I think that some of it is just a lack of understanding in two ways, right? Yeah. One is they heard Google's disavowed and you know, totally eliminated Google business sites. Yeah. Yep. Well, you should see the flood of mail that we got. Well, how are you doing G sites if they're, you know, and, and if the Google business sites are gone? I'm like, tick, 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 moron. <laughs> read what, read the news. It's got nothing to do with G sites. It's only yep. got to do with the business site inside a GMB. Like you can go through our thread is like three days worth of, you know, I'm quitting. This doesn't work and you know, all that stuff. It's like sometimes it's pretty comical. The lack of, uh, you know, understanding that people have when they just don't read or follow through. But yeah, no. And you can bet. Trust me, you can bet on this. I'm going to be and Gary's going to be. We're going to be very, 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 very sad. When Google comes out with an API. <laughs> Trust me. I uh, uh, I understand. <laughs> so, anyway, in the meantime, you know this is a unicorn. It is, and and that guys, I if you're watching this, I've looked all around. I mean, Wayne and I, if there was an API, it would be called Google Masher, Google Site Masher. <laughs> There isn't. So we're, we just we don't want to do what Chris has done because we know how hard it is to do a browser based input system. It is very difficult. And every two or three days, Google changes things. So you have to be on your toes for the for these changes. And uh, Chris is doing an incredible job on keeping this updated. And at the same time, he's updating it with Google. He's making it user friendly. That's you know, mm -hmm. so there aren't a bunch of buttons to push or anything like that. So anyway, uh, 
Guys, and, and listen, to your point, I will say to your point, the downside of if you look at the G site EXE build number on that right now, mm -hmm. that's 220 updates. Okay. And some of these are one or two a day sometimes because mm -hmm. that's what's happened. So if you're I'll just be, you know, quite frankly honest, if you're irritated that you have to re-upload the software to use it again tomorrow and maybe re-upload it again on Friday to re, you know, don't buy it because you will, it'll drive you insane, but it, it uploads, it takes care of everything. It's a, you know, three minute deal and you're back in business right away. Yep. Right. But some people get irritated. Oh, it's updating all the time. Well, you know, it's a hand built program. And, yep. and like you said, Google changes shit all the time. They do. They, <coughs> even just moving boxes, you know, sometimes they'll move a tab because whatever reason, and it throws everything off. And, mm -hmm. and guys, if you're looking at this and you go, well, this is build 2.2.00 on June 8th, that's wrong. The this is an old, old one. <laughs> yeah, the programmer, no, this is this is new. The programmer's date format that he uses is European. It is actually August 6th. So day comes before month. Um, so right. I know because I've I've been tracking all his, this is August 6th, 2024, the latest greatest that you're seeing if you're watching this video. So uh, Patrick, yep. anything to add before we end the <clears throat> Uh No, I'm, I think we pretty much covered most of it. Uh, for those who, you know, we also have a training course that we built that, you know, we'll kind of throw in a basic training course for anybody that even shows up on the on the webinar and they can learn how to do all this by hand. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Gary, thank yes, you sir. very much. Uh, anything you want to put on? Well, we're, I would put it this way. If I could give you a vision of the future, we're not there yet. We're still improving, improving, improving. Um, we've submitted some stuff to Chris for future builds. So it's an evolving product and we're going to continue to develop it in new directions and new angles. <clears throat> my la here, here would be my last comment, Dana, right? If you put yourself owning the software in our Skype room and you had a question and something wasn't working and you submitted it to Chris, what has your experience been working with Chris? And then we'll kind of leave it at that. Because I've, I've had experience with COVID <coughs> before is if you challenge them and they go to sleep on it, the next day there is a solution in place. Um, and Chris is, Chris is incredible about that. So I compliment you on finding a really good coder. Um, but if he doesn't sit back and think about it, it's like, ah, oh, no, I can't do it. But I know with you, with Chris is the idea you challenge him with, can it do this? He will figure out a way. So very, very, very good. Yep. Cool beans, man. Okay. Thank you. Thank you guys. You can end the recording. Thank you for joining us on this call. I, apologize the lettering wasn't all that great on the call but I wanted you to hear from Patrick and Gary um, I know it sometimes it got a little rough in there and and I tried to take out some of the some of the parts in there but they're as passionate as as we are about our own software they're as, just as passionate about the ranking factory and the uh, Google site fa Google site factory the reason is, is they want it to work. They want it to work for the, their customers and they want it to work for their clients. Uh, so I, I, I totally encourage you to uh, try this software out. Um, e even if you don't, just try the manual method of uploading to, to Google Sites uh, using the Google, um, using AI Masher and watch that Geek Out Friday from the last week. Uh, very excited about uh, the future, where we're going with some of these um, CMS sites like uh, Google um, Sites, and we're also doing SEO Neo and some other tools outside of WordPress as a 
backlinking structure to our main money sites and our affiliate programs. So thank you for joining us, and I, I look forward to seeing you on some other videos. This is Damon Nelson. I'm out.